All right, folks, let's uh, let's have a little fun. <laughs> yeah, y'all ready to have some fun? Let's go back to 2014. Let's do a Bud Light commercial. Three seconds ago, we gave Ian Rappaport a Bud Light and a choice. Ian is not an actor. He has no idea what's going to happen next. I think I could do that. All right, he's in the limo, Reggie. Let's go. How are you? What's your name? Ian Rappaport. Ian, Ian Rappaport. Ian. Pero mess it up. Hey. Hey. Ian. Nice to Minka, meet you. Nice Minka. to meet you. I definitely know who you are. We need a coach for okay. Ian. It's pretty awesome being great. saw by <laughs> Minka Kelly tonight. I wish I could come us. with you. I know. I wish you could too. Bye, guys. Minka, that was awesome. <laughs> to counting for me. <laughs> you can do better than that. Ready, my little man here? It's not a bad shot for my little princess. <laughs> when you somehow find yourself in a limo with Reggie Watts and some bachelorettes, then get styled by Minka Kelly before Don Cheadle, a llama named Lily, and the identical twin of the girl you just met take you to a party where you defeat Arnold Schwarzenegger in a sudden death ping pong match that puts you on stage with One Republic. Okay, so back in 2014, that came out. Now the record will speak for itself. <laughs> Okay, uh, yeah, like you guys with your false prophet hunting channels. I feel sorry for you guys. You missed the boat. Here we go. Let's let's talk about it. What is the whole system? What did what have I shown you? The whole system's a twin system. Cain and Abel. And that began the system of twins in the garden because of a decision that was made, started in heaven played out here on the earth this earth is the whole thing playing out so let's start at the beginning let's let's look right and adam knew hava his wife who had desired the angel and she conceived and bare cain she said i've acquired a man the angel of the lord and she added to bear from her husband adam his twin even Abel. so this is the system that's inside of every person cannibal you're your own cannibal and this is a representation of you there's a good you and there's a bad you there's a 
W. That's why they like to take the letter V and put it next to another V and make a W out of it. Because 5 and 5, Roman numeral 5 and Roman numeral 5, when you slide them together, makes a double U. Okay, been over that a million times. Repetition is the key to learning and the key to understanding this. As a matter of fact, I'm willing to bet you, because the Lord shared it to me today, that repetition has something to do even with understanding the Lord and who he is. Okay. Watch. Let's do it. Ready? Let's go back to our Bud Light commercial. Starts out. Girl walks in. She makes an offer. Hey, if I give you this, are you up for whatever happens? Let's watch. All right, he's alone. I'll send her in. Hey. Hello. Okay, right there, I'm going to pause it. Right there. They, that is completely set up. They had him shake right in front of the light. She held her hand right there on purpose because it's a represent, representation of Kelly taking the light from Ian. That's why they had the touch, the handshake, right in front of the light. Let me show you what Kelly means. Let's see. Hi, my name's Kelly. Let's see. We'll put Kelly right here. Hi, my name's Kelly. Wasn't that what you said? My name's Kelly. That's what you said. Kelly. Typed in Kelly name meaning it's warrior princess. Uh, it can mean warrior or fighter. Female warrior. Kelly, the name Kelly means warrior princess or female warrior. Pick. There you go. There it is, right there. Kelly. Etymology in many cases, Kelly is uh an angelicization angelicization of the Irish surname Kelly, which means the synonym of Kelly, or it can also mean warrior or fighter. And I, when you just keep looking, it just means the same thing over. Kelly means warrior, means warlike warrior, warrior woman. So we've identified the meaning of Kelly. Kelly means female warrior. Hi, my name's Kelly. Ian? Ian. Hi, I'm Ian. Let's look up the name Ian. Ian means gift from God. Uh, Hebrew, it means gift from God in Hebrew, right there. In American, Ian means gift from God. In Scottish, it means gift from God. So there is the there is the touch. They are making their touch. Ian and Kelly have entered into an agreement. Female warrior and gift from God. And she says, if I give you this, and that's very, uh, you know, that's left open for you to decide, but it's obvious what it is because he ends up going on a bachelorette party. Having been to several of them myself, I can tell you if you're a guy at a bachelorette party, then it's, it's uh, yeah. Anyway. Good to meet you. If I give this to you, are you up for whatever happens? She winked at him. Let's let me get that little wink in there. Okay, I'm gonna pause it because I want to prove to you she winked, and I will go to the folder, and I will show you that we freeze framed it, or I freeze framed it, and caught the wink. I slowed down the film. I saw her wink. She said, "If I give this to you, are you up for whatever happens?" So let me enlarge the picture. Those that wink the eye devise perverse things that bring evil to pass. Neither let them that are my enemies wrongfully rejoice over me. Neither let them wink with the eye that hate me without a cause. So there's Kelly, the female warrior. She's winking at Ian right here. There's what her eye looks like normally. And there she is winking. 
offering him what she has. If I give you this, are you up for whatever happens? Okay. Now, let's go back. Okay, so now, female warrior, gift from God. Let's go back to the commercial. Three seconds ago, we gave Ian Rappaport a Bud Light and a choice. Ian is not an actor. He has no idea what's going to happen next. I think I could do that. All right, he's in the limo, Reggie. That's you. <laughs> okay, so now he's whisked off immediately to a bachelorette party. Well, you know, you for you girls, y'all know what goes on at bachelorette parties. For guys, we know what goes on at bachelor parties. So he is the guest of honor. He's the only guy with all these bachelorettes. What's your name? Ian Rappaport. Ian, Ian Rappaport. Ian. Oh. Great. Yeah, right. Pulling up. Rebecca, can you hear me? I hope I don't mess it up. Hey. Hi. Hey. Ian. Nice Minka, to meet you. Nice Minka. to meet you. I definitely know who you are. We need a coach for okay. Ian. It's pretty awesome this being styled great. by <laughs> Minka Kelly tonight. There's another Kelly. I mean, Minka Kelly, female warrior. They're getting him all dressed up, changing the way he looks, putting him on in something else. A new suit. I wish I could come with you. They're putting him in a new suit. No, I wish you can too. Bye, guys. Minka, that was awesome. <laughs> Okay, so now here we go. Now the nefarious meaning becomes quite clear. Don Cheadle, he's black. Ian's white. Don Cheadle's wearing the exact same clothes as Ian is. They're twins. You know, like I showed you the folder in the last video, the white sheep and the black sheep in the same womb. One white, one black, one light, one dark. One right side up, one upside down. So now Don Cheadle gets in. Wearing the same exact clothing. Hello, Lily. Hey! <laughs> Come on, it's Lily. Lily. So, how many times did they say Lily? He got in with a llama into a elevator, a llama. But they made sure you knew the name Lily, right? Because Ian is the sacrifice. Let me show you what. So, Kelly, the female warrior, got him to. May take the deal. He ends up going out on a bachelorette party. Bachelorette parties are synonymous with girls that are a girl that's gonna get married. And uh, I, I don't know what the percentage is, but there are girls that go out and the night before they get married, they have sex with some other guy. That's think about that. Yeah, kind of like the Garden of Eden. Isn't that weird? She had sex with the serpent, huh? That's wild. Here we go. Let's keep going. Let's look up the meaning of Lily. The meaning of Lily. See, look. Meaning of name Lily right there. Lily means pure and innocent. There it is. Purity and innocence. That's what the name Lily means. Well, do you all know what a llama is about? Type into Google, what is the symbolic meaning of a llama? Let me show you what it is. Besides, in the Incan creation myth, besides offering food and drink to the gods, the Incans also made animal and human sacrifices. White llamas were often used for animal sacrifices, and young children were particularly prized as human sacrifices. Often they were left to die on high mountaintops, sacred places remote from human life, but close to the sky gods. So, an alama is a representation of a pure sacrifice. Lily means pure, and alama is a sacrifice to the gods. By the way, the Incans worship the sun god, so you know. So, this is uh, not just some Bud Light commercial, is it? Hey, Don! How are you? Hey, how's it going?
Wow. Okay, so now Ian has his own twin. And he's black. It just happens to be black. So you got one white guy, one black guy. They're just the same. Now Ian has entered into the duplicitous system. And that's what this commercial is all about. It's not about a Bud Light. It's making fun. Of, everyone is making fun of Ian. They're all actors, all of them mocking Ian. Be just like I used to be mocked. People used to draw pictures of me and give me dead sheep until I could see it and confront them. And then I was confronting Satan and Starbucks. Oh, so let's see. Look. Okay, so what's it's Don Cheadle. So, what's the meaning of the name Dawn mean? Let's see. Dawn means to put on, get dressed in, dress oneself, to slip into, get on, he donned an overcoat. Okay, so there it is. So, now Ian has slipped into a whole new thing, into a duplicitous twin system. Just like Cain and Abel. Cannibal. There you go. So now, let's keep going. We've got Kelly, female warrior. I'll get rid of that. Ian, gift from God. Get rid of that. The white llamas were used as animal sacrifices and young children in the Incan creation uh, mythology. Get rid of that. What does Lily mean? It means pure. So he was the pure sacrifice. And Dawn means to get dressed in. in. And then... Y'all remember Cain and Abel, right? Right here, like right here, right? Remember Cain and Abel? Cain and Abel, the twins? Do y'all know what Abel means? Uh, did you know number 57 in the, in the Hebrew Strong's Concordance? If you look up the number 57, it's Abel. The number 57 in Hebrew in the Bible is Abel. That's going to be important. I'll show you right here. 57, Abel, right there. See, right there, Abel. What is the definition of Abel? Mourning, to mourn one who sorrows. So that's what it means. Let's keep watching. Bye, hey, Open the door. Door, 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 door. Uh, oh, wow. So now... Just oddly enough, uh, uh, that girl's twin gets in with her. Ian's got his twin. Two girls that are twins. It's probably just a coincidence. And all the name meanings. <laughs> this is a bizarre night. Take care, Ian. Okay, now this is really important. When he walks into the party where he's the special guest. <laughs> Hey, you're the guest of honor. Yeah. <laughs> now we can just laugh at them because they're so freaking busted. It's all red. Oh, oh, that's weird. Why is it all red? Oh, look, Ian's here, everybody. Hey, Ian, come on in. Everyone... Oh, wait, let's hear what he says. Take care, Ian. Everyone here is a twin? <laughs> Did he just say everyone here is a twin? <laughs> he did. Everyone at the party is a twin. Probably just a coincidence. <laughs> Let's go back. Take care, Ian. Everyone here is a twin? <laughs> Let's look at the twins. So let's slow this down a little bit. Okay, so he walks in with twins. There's a set of twins. They're all girls, though. The only ones that are the sets of twins are the girls. Wow. There's two more twins. This guy doesn't have a twin. Two more twins. Now he gets in the elevator with the twins. Look at the X on the wall, X chromosome. My mind is blown. <laughs> My mind is blown. Wait a minute. When they get into the elevator, look what's right here. Is that an M 
which is an upside down W, isn't it? And look, at you can't see right here, see past uh, Super Bowl commercial right here? That's floor number 57. Oh, why would they make sure it was on floor 57? <laughs> oh, because that means Abel, like Cain. And Abel, and that means sorrow and mourning, because he made a big mistake. See, 50 cents. <laughs> <laughs> They're on their way down. They appear to be crushed. And here you go. Here's Arnold Schwarzenegger, a mighty man. I need tennis. <laughs> Hang on. Uh-oh. Okay, acting? let's try this again. Here we go. They appear to be crushed in tiny tennis. <laughs> Okay, let's see the arms. You all look up on that very good. Okay, now this is really important. You would not know this unless you were me. I noticed that the floor was, was it was a metallic, it was a reflective blue, like water. He said, let's see your arms do this. Well, because it's Arnold Schwarzenegger, you might think, well, you know, it's what muscle men do. Let me, because I watched this whole commercial, and I know that the whole wall falls down. I know that that ping pong table is a very unusual ping pong table. As a matter of fact, it's constructed to be identical to the Hoover Dam. Let me prove that to you. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Let me go out of here. Let's see. There we go. Let me go out of this image and let me show you very quickly. Let me show you something very interesting. There's a plaque at the Hoover Dam. It's a very interesting plaque. It says, they died so the desert could bloom. And this is unbelievable that they put this in here, but I recognize it right away. Here it is. It says, they died to make the desert bloom. This is the female reproductive system. Again, there's two different two different grains. And then if you look at this guy, the orientation of the guy's body, it makes the face of Baphomet. You know what? Let me just enlarge it because I'm going to get that header up there. So this is the eye, the eye, the mouth. Uh, there's the beard of like the goat. There's the mouth. There's the eye. There's the eye. And there the horns are going up. It's also the female reproductive system with two different kinds of grain. There is a guy laying dead in the water right here. You see this guy laying in the water? This is what they're going to have Ian do. He's going to have him, he's going to say, go like this. So he has Ian do this position right here, and then he tells him to lay down on the ground and do five push-ups. Get it? See, when you know the truth, everything always adds up, doesn't it? Even some ridiculous Bud Light commercial. So let's do it. So here he goes. Let's go back to the, let me go back to this. And before the wall, whole wall falls down, I'm going to show you that the, the ping pong table is modeled exactly after the Hoover Dam. There is the ping pong table right here. That's a very unusual ping pong table right there. Let me show you the Hoover Dam and the bridge they built over the uh, in front of the Hoover Dam because when they blow it up, because it's also in the shape of the female reproductive system, when they blow up the Hoover Dam, they're going to have to have a means of transportation across that area. And so they built that bridge. And so here's the ping pong table right here. And here's the bridge in front of the Hoover Dam. By the way, the way you used to get across is you used to drive across the Hoover Dam. I've done it. You used to drive. There used to be a road across. You drive right across it. And now that's been closed up, and you go across this right here, which is identical to this really unusual ping pong table. I've never seen a ping pong table like that. And I went and looked for one, as a matter of fact. Couldn't find it. It's very difficult. Here we go. So now we've matched that up, and again, 
This is the position he has Ian do, and then he has him lay down on the floor. Let's watch. See, there it is. Put your arms up. Go like this. And now let's mock you, Ian. Just give me five push-ups. Two. See, what an interesting colored floor. Wow, that is really wild, isn't it? I mean, that is just unbelievable. There's a spirit doing this using host body puppets. Let me show you some about the crowd real quick. Let's look at let's look at the crowd. I knew it. Bring it up. But they're beautiful girls, huh? Don't be shy when it comes to counting for me. <laughs> Let me let me find this crowd picture real quick. We're gonna have to watch this again. Prepare to be crushed in tiny tennis. Okay, let's see the arms. You all look all pumped up. Very good. Just give me five push. There we go. Uh, let's take a look at that crowd that's above me. One, two, three. Four, five, six. Six. Half white, half white. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's three rows of six. Six, six, six. Half in white shirts. Half in half in blue. Some have Ian on it. And look, these guys, the white ones have Arnold Schwarzenegger doing the muscle man pose and the other ones have Ian. So they have three and three, that's six, six, six. Two. I knew it. Ring it up. But they're beautiful girls, huh? Don't be shy when it comes to counting for me. <laughs> Ready, my little man here. It's not a bad shot for my little princess. <laughs> that represents the birthing of the new race right there. Boom, the wall falls down, representing the Hoover Dam going down. And then all the water is going to go. It's like the water breaking and the birth of a child, the birthing of the new race. And then you find yourself on stage with One Republic. Oh. <laughs> That's not cryptic, is it? <laughs> Hindsight's twenty twenty. told you. I'm just going to have fun now and mock them. It's time to mock them, isn't it? <laughs> Oh no! And poor Ian, he has no idea. He's the sacrifice, and it's a complete mockery. Bud Light, the perfect beer when you somehow. When you somehow find yourself in a limo with Reggie Watts and some bachelorettes, then get styled by Minka Kelly before Don Cheadle, a llama named Lily, and the identical twin of the girl you just met take you to a party where you defeat Arnold Schwarzenegger in a sudden death ping pong match. sudden death ping pong match that puts you on stage with one republic, the new race. There it is. That's not a, that's not for drinking beer, folks. That is a party for the new race of beans. There you go. It's time to just shove it in their face a little bit. <laughs> busted. We can say busted now, can't we? Busted. Y'all are busted. All right, there you go. Have fun with that one, folks. There it is.